Here at base camp, there's a couple different ways we uh, power all our electronics. One of which is solar, and the other is uh, with the generator. We try to power as much as we can with the solar because it's free and it's green. Um, right here is uh, two panels we have on our communication tent. Each of these panels goes to one of our two satellite terminals that we use to uh, hook up to the internet. Um, I personally have a solar panel in my tent. I know several of the other members use their own personal solar panels to charge things like their phone, the camera batteries, computers, things like that. Um, but unfortunately because of the large uh, demands of the expedition we can't power everything with solar and so we also use a generator. Here we are at our uh, generator which uh, isn't turned on at the moment. We uh, need to use it every day because we have such a high demand for electricity on this expedition. Uh, just because we're generating so much media for Nat Geo and the North Face and MSU. So most expeditions could get by in just solar because um, all they need it for is to check their email, check the weather, charge their camera batteries, but we just have uh, quite a bit more than that. So this is why we rely on this old boy, which has served us well so far despite uh, not being properly tuned for this elevation. But um, yeah, that's it from the generator. Okay, here we are at our two began satellite terminals. This is what we use to connect to the internet. We keep them here inside the tent to protect them from the elements, but they are standalone if we need them to be, which means we can take them outside, run them on battery, we'll broadcast a wireless signal, and we can pretty much hook up to the internet anywhere. So they're perfect for expedition lifestyle, and they've been great for us so far in this expedition. Well, that pretty much sums it up for how we uh, get by here at base camp in terms of energy and communication. Thanks for tuning in and so long from Everest Base Camp.